If you're new to my video, my name is John Jr. I've been in the aquarium hobby for over four years, keeping saltwater aquariums. And in the past 10 months, I've been working meticulously hard to try to get the nitrates down in my saltwater aquarium here, which has reached to a level of over 200 parts per million, but today is now down to 50 parts per million, and it's still dropping. Follow me as I show you what I did wrong to cause this disaster to happen and what I'm doing to correct it. Let's begin. Okay, so we have right in front of us is a couple of bowls and some well, these little marbles here. Now I'm gonna show you what happens inside of a reef tank when it comes when you first set it up. So you have bought yourself a new reef tank, right? Get, congratulations, by the way. You got everything all set up, everything is all good to go. You mix up your salt water, you put in your beneficial bacteria. This right here is fish that we put inside of our reef tank. Now, the marbles that I have inside of here is your bio load. This right here is your beneficial bacteria. This right here would be the ammonia, the, and also your fish waste, and also the uneaten foods and such. The stuff needs to be broken down into a form that can be readily gotten rid of by your filtration system. So we're gonna take our ammonia, we're gonna take our nitrifying bacteria, and voila. This nitrifying bacteria is able to handle the bio load that has literally come from your fishes. Let's say for instance, this right here may be two little clownfish that you may have added into your new fish tank, right? This bowl right here is your fish tank. So we are going to take our beneficial bacteria, it's inside of your fish tank, and now the beneficial bacteria has been able to take the bio load from your fish and is able to hold it and because of that, what is inside of this bowl, the bacteria is able to convert from ammonia into nitrite and then finally into nitrate. When you have nitrates, that means that the water in the tank is safe for fish to live in, which is also why it's also a good idea to have Dr. Tim's one and only or Microbacter, Microbacter XLM bacteria to actually give you a head start on creating a safe environment for your fish. This right here is where I messed up. I wanted to have an instant tank, and this is where things really went terribly wrong for me. Our beneficial bacteria. This right here is a much bigger load. This bowl, let's say for instance, is clownfish, is green chromis, triggerfish, scopus tang, it's a foxfish rabbit fish. You know, it's a number of different type of fishes, blennies, wrasses, and everything. This right here. I'm going to try to cram all of this into this. See what happened? This is what happened when I first started my reef tank. I put way too many fish, way too many corals into this tank all at once. That right there was a huge mistake because as you see here, the bio load that was produced by all these fish that I had, the beneficial bacteria population was not big enough to handle this size of a bio load. This right here is the one mistake that I made that literally caused my tank to crash. Well, it's one of the things that caused my tank to crash, overstocking. Now, if I would have listened to the advice of what they had told me, then I would never have been in this situation here in the first place. And this is one of the reasons why I'm warning you not to overstock your tank with too many fish or too many corals when you're beginning. Very big beginner's mistake, very common, but I'm telling you right now, don't do it. If you want to understand the next thing would happen in how I destroyed my saltwater reef aquarium, check out this video right here.